Once a day, unwrap the syringes and insert them in the power injector. After unpacking the transect, it needs to be attached to the syringes. On one side, connect the transect to a saline reservoir. This line is marked with the blue color. Once the spike is inserted, open the air inlet and squeeze the drip chamber to start the inflow of saline. On the green marked side, use the spike to connect to the contrast media bottle, open the air inlet and also squeeze the drip chamber. Fill the syringes with contrast medium and saline using the injector. Then, to remove any air from the system, it is best to turn the injector upside down and hold the Y part of the filling line upright while filling the infusion lines. The infusion line is now ready for 24-hour use and ready to be connected to the transflux or patient line. Once per patient, unpack the transflux and use a syringe to prime the patient line with saline. When the catheter is established in the patient's vein, the transflux can be connected to the patient. Once attached to the patient, the blood reflux can be checked by disconnecting the one-way valve. This disconnect feature can also be used to access the vein in case of emergency or to intravenous administer drugs to the patient without the risk of extravasation. After reconnection, connect the transflux patient line to the transset filling line connected to the power injector. The system is now set up and ready for contrast media infusion. After every injecting procedure and before disconnecting the patient, close both clamps on the transflux to prevent backflow. The patient line can now be disconnected. The proximate part of the transflux remains attached to the transect as a safety cap in between patients. For more info on product use, contact your local distributor or visit our website.